Hello, it's Ricardo and welcome to Elite Dangerous. I thought I'd go and revisit some of my old haunts and see if there's any point in going back there to see if I can make some money. Probably like a lot of you, I've taken quite a hit on going out and buying that Type 10 Defender. And we know the Chieftain is on its way with a Beyond update that's going to be coming at the end of Quarter 1. So I thought I'd head on over to ITO Orbital in the rear system, the subject of many many, many videos in the past to see if it's still viable to make some money. Now, if you haven't already done so, please click the like and subscribe button and then the notification icon and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos of Elite Dangerous and other games on YouTube. And generally, I post several times a week. Now, as you can see, Rhea system is home to ITO Orbital and ITO Orbital is an agricultural station. Now, generally, when we're looking for passenger missions, I've got the glint of the badger's eye, my beluga, all kitted out with economy class passenger cabins. All the same. And that way, then, you can merge all your passengers into one great big bulk. Now, like I say, I'm not expecting to earn money like what you used to earn in the old days before Rio was fixed. But I thought it would be quite interesting to see exactly how much I possibly could earn. Now I'm currently operating around about 106 million at the moment but at the time of this first video you know I was operating around 96. Now I did a couple of runs went up about 10 million. And as you can see as I'm going through the board picking out the missions to LQ Hydri and Walla Horizons, that's very important, got to try and get the same station. And in Walla Horizons, in LQ Hydri, only Walla Horizons is the station of choice. There's only that station there. But on the way back, you might be tempted, and you'll get diverted, and you'll go down a rabbit hole, and what will happen is you end up flying all over the place to get some money, because you get to ch cherry-pick these, these passenger missions. You think, oh, hey, that's 500,000 credits. I'll have that, or... Hey, you know, um, that's a million credits. If I just go over here and then you go off the beaten path and you get down that rabbit hole of not staying on message. With this, very important to stay on message. And I think you can make a tidy bit of earning. So I'm going through now. I'm checking all the boards. I'm making sure that my cargo hold is empty because with a lot of these passenger missions as well, you do tend to get um, rewards in the shape of like, I don't know, nano breakers or... Some other splurious stuff like microweave hosing. So then what I'm going to do now is what we call a board hop. I'm going to drop out to the main menu and change game modes. Now I'm currently in open play. So now I'm going to change to solo mode or private mode. One of those two modes. Makes no real difference. You can go through them all. Then go into the passenger mission board and then take a look of what this version of the game and their separate versions of the game can offer you as you can see straight away another two million to be got there right with 20 passengers checking them out we've got a couple of individuals nine refugees there for seven hundred thousand not fantastic but you know not bad if you want to try and fill up your cargo hold so in short yes i think you know and i'm not particularly you know, up there with faction reputation, I'm cordial. And as that increases to friendly, I assume that there's going to be even higher paying missions. And I think the idea of all this is going to be perseverance. So, I think, in short, and there's a lot more to this video as well, but I'm going to come out and say it, that Rhea is not as lucrative as it used to be. Doing the board hop, you can use that to subvert some of the game mechanics. Frontier don't think it's a cheat. They say this is how the game is designed. Fair enough. We're okay with that. Um, and then what you can do is, is you can fill your hold with as many missions as you possibly can, paying as much as you possibly can. You'll increase your reputation. You'll increase your faction rank. And you're going to increase your money. So when those new ships come out, this is going to be the way to do it. Now, it's not only Rhea and the ITO orbital you can do this on. You've got to go out in there and cherry pick your missions from your stations. And by getting allied, or friendly at least, 
with these stations and doing passenger missions, you can make a lot of money. Now, there are those of you out there who are making even more money by doing the long distance missions. I'm not. I'm in it for a quick win. There and back, nice and easy. Before the kids wake up in the morning, you know, and everything goes crazy. Jump on Elite Dangerous, you get your fix for the day, and everything goes a little bit smoother. And you made a few in-game credits as well. So there you go. There's the glint of the Badger's Eye. Preparing to take off. And head on over to Walla Horizons. Really use any ship to go and do these runs. You haven't got to have a passenger liner. Some of the bigger ships, Type 6, Type 9, that's a big old unit. And some of the big ones, they're perfectly fine. The cutters, great. Stick some passenger lounges in there, you know, economy ones. But as you can see, you know, in LQ, uh, LQ Hydri, Walla Horizons is 14,000 light seconds away from the arrival point. So when you do drop into system, be prepared for a little bit of a drive. Okay, at that point, you're going to be vulnerable. And if you've got illegal passengers or passengers that have got some interest from the local community, then, you know, you're going to see a little bit of action. Things you can do to stop that action from happening. Keep your heat signature, which is on the bottom right hand side, nice and low. This can be accomplished by turning off some of the modules, not generally using weapons, for example. And if you're approaching that station with illegal passengers, make sure you turn off things like life support, use heat sinks, you know, make sure you're in silent running mode. That cuts down the heat signature and you won't get scanned. But anyway, we haven't got anybody who's got that sort of status with us at the moment. And we're on our approach to, to pad 25. Now the ships like the Beluga, they're a big old unit. So be careful when landing. And you're going to stray into other people's landing pads on your approach. Unless you're flying the equivalent of a Harrier jump jet. So, you know, just be warned. Get in there, land, do what you got to do, and get out. So as soon as we're in the station, as you can see, we're on 105,899 credits. Not a fortune by any standards. And it's all you billionaire boys who've been up at Quince doing whatever. Um, probably got more money than that. But like I say, I'm on the rebuilding of the fortune drive. And now we can start going through and cashing in our missions. 1,400,000 for that one. 2.14 million and the like. Now we're also accruing, as I mentioned, some cargo and some rewards for doing it. Articulation motors and the like. But as you can see, my reputation is also increasing. And I'm going through the ranks with a superpower, of which I'm already allied with or friendly with. Which is great. The more friendly you are with the superpower and the factions, the better missions you're going to get. So there you go. I've started and I've claimed all my rewards. Now, just to check this now, quick scroll up and down the screen. Out of the passenger mission section into commodities. And you can see I've got 12 tons of cargo space used out of my 16 that I've currently got on the ship. Yes, I could fill it all up with additional passenger lounges. But hey, you've got to have somewhere to put that cargo or you can't complete your missions. And that's the important thing to remember. Make sure you've got at least a bit of cargo. So, and then with that, you can see I'm up to 117 million. Okay, so that's a profit of around about 11.5 million for a run. And it took, I don't know, what, 10 minutes? So, you're going to get around about, if you apply yourself in an hour, about 50 million, right? doing the board hopping and the like. Well, thank you very much for your attention and thanks for watching this first video of 2018. I've been Ricardo and this has been Elite Dangerous. And we're all waiting for the next update, Elite Dangerous Beyond.
you haven't already done so, click the like and subscribe button. That would really help me out. And the notification icon and be active in the comments. But be kind, because we're all friends here playing Elite Dangerous. See you soon, fly safe.